Okay, so good afternoon everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this wonderful tutorial is Hamper Kliman. So today we'll be looking at limits at infinity. So what does it mean when they ask you to find the limit as x is approaching um, infinity? So in my previous videos, I have been teaching you how to find uh, limits as x is approaching a certain number. Simply finding what the function of f of x is going to be as x is simply approaching that particular number. Now, this time around, it's going to be different because they want us to simply clarify what will be happening to this function of f of x as x is approaching infinity. So, these questions are going to help you simply find uh, the, the theorem that is behind this particular concept. So, we'll start with the first one. So, for the first one, they are saying we have the limit as x is approaching infinity x to the power 2. Now, for this particular question, the only thing that you are supposed to do is to replace infinity where there is x. Now, infinity to the power 2 is simply just infinity. It's, it's going to be infinity. Okay, it will, The answer that you are going to find will still be running to infinity. So therefore, the answer will just be a positive infinity because that is what the numbers are going to be running to. We get to b. b is saying we have the limit as x is approaching negative infinity of x to the power 2. The concept is the same. You are going to replace negative infinity. Now, notice that anything negative that is squared always produces a positive number. So we expect this uh, limit to still be heading in the positive direction where the answer is simply infinity. Now, how about if you are given a, a polynomial function where they are saying we calculate the limit as x is approaching positive infinity of x over 2x minus 3. How do we go about calculating this question? Well, it is very simple. All you have to do is simply to check the degree of the denominator and the degree of uh, this value which is simply on top. So you discover that the degree of x on the denominator is simply 1 and the degree on the numerator is simply 1 as well. So what we can just do here, you're going to say on the denominator, you multiply by the highest degree, on the numerator by the highest degree. And you're going to find out that you're going to have the limit as x is approaching infinity of x over x over 2x over x minus 3 over x, like that. Notice, notice that this x and this guy are going to cancel, are going to remain with 1. This and this are going to cancel, are going to remain with just a 2. If we place a infinity here, because we know that infinity is a very big number, so if we place infinity here, then this guy is going to be approaching zero point something so it's not gonna make sense so we aren't going to add it we're gonna approach zero point zero something up to blah 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 whatever number therefore the limit as x is approaching infinity is going to give us one over two so this is just how you go about this particular question we go to d now, t is very interesting because they are saying 
the limit as x is approaching infinity of x over x minus 4. What is the highest denominator? Uh, what is the highest power? The highest power of x is found is, is, is on the denominator. So of course it is the one which we are going to use to multiply everything. So even here it will be 1 over x to the power 2. From here we are going to have the limit as x is approaching infinity. Then of course it's going to be x over x to the power 2 over x to the power 2 over x to the power 2 there is going to be plus 4 over x to the power 2 remember that if we are to place infinity here okay so this is just gonna be 1 then this is going to be x if we press infinity here it will still be approaching by infinity what I mean is you place a very big number just imagine any number, a very big one, you place it here, you discover that you'll be approaching 0, 0.000 something, which is just zero. And if you place infinity here, this and this will just cancel and you will still have one. Remember that this is 4 over x to the power 2. If you place, let's say, 1000, it will still be approaching 0, 0. 0.000 something. So you discover that limit as x is approaching infinity of this particular limit you discover that we're going to have 0 over 1 0 over 1 and therefore our answer will just be 0 just like that okay so this is just how you solve this particular question okay so we have E so I want you to do this question I want you to solve this question you can send the solutions on my whatsapp line and i'll be able to mark you let me see if you have understood how to go about limits at infinity thank you so much